Good morning, everyone. This is Friday morning. I have some apologies to make. I'm not sure what happened, but I started to edit this video yesterday morning, and the video clips, not just for this video, but for others from earlier this week, have been lost. I'm not sure what happened to them. Um... So we're kind of go kind of go in reverse order today. This is Friday morning. I'm showing you the babies now and then I'm going to show you the clips that I do have. I think I have Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. But then be sure to watch to the very end. I have a special surprise. The babies that I sent to Sarah, she has sent me some video clips of those babies to include in this. I just wanted to show you just how beautiful these are turning out to be. Look at this baby, the, this the girl. She is going to be snow white. Catherine is calling her Pearl. Or Snowball. Snowball. Catherine's calling her lots of things. I'm going to have a hard time letting that one go. But yeah, me too. Unfortunately, I just can't keep all of them. This little boy, I'm not sure what color he's going to be. I think he's he, gonna be like Pogo, famous old Pogo. He could be blue, or turquoise blue, but not or pink. gray. But, but not I really doubt he's going to be green. If he is, then there's some kind of surprise that I don't know about. Well, he could actually be maybe white. Well, he won't be white. You can see his feathers are coming in already. That the gray markings. They kind of look white. The dark the colors coming in on his. Come here. Wing. And look at how pretty her wings are. I know. She's just beautiful. Pogo's is even more beautiful. Let's get Pogo out. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and get Pogo. That's what I was thinking. What about my people? Peeper? Mm-hmm. There's Pogo. He's not been fed yet. He is so handsome. Yeah. We love look him. Oh, we're going to move him into a cage just as soon as his friend gets a few more feathers. His friend, of course, is the green cheek conga. Look how beautiful this wing is, if I can just spread it out. I know that violet color yeah. is amazing. Uh, Pogo is mine. I love Pogo. The, the, little, the little baby has poopied. Ew. Well, let's get the live mouth up here. People. Here she is. She likes showing her wings out. Now, in last week's video, I asked you to help name her, and I got a lot of great oh, like suggestions. Like I'm going to put some of those comments up on the screen now. Oh, gosh, he's actually up. Okay, yeah. But, guys, the name that has been chosen for this baby is Peeper. Is Peeper. Uh, you know, I can't, I can't deny that beautiful face. And so she wants to name him Peeper. I was going to name it Squeaky Cheeky. Oh, yeah, Squeaky Cheeky. But it's going to be Peepers. No, Squeaky Cheeky sounds cute. No, you said Peepers. I didn't know what you had said. Squeaky Cheeky sounds so adorable. Okay, this is a green cheek conure. It is a. I'm, I'm gonna feed you. It is a sun cheek, which is a dilute mutation combined with the pineapple mutation. Can you see the colors coming in on her belly? No, nope, you can't because she won't stay in one spot. Just like me. <clears throat> Excuse me. But guys, I need to go ahead and get these fed. I'm going to show you the other clips, and then I've got to go out and milk goats. So, God bless you. Well, I thought I could get one good single shot with all four babies in the frame together. But they just do not cooperate at all. At the very end of this video, I'm going to give you the names that we have chosen for the little green cheek. So y'all make sure to watch all the way to the very end. Look at that guy. Look at it. Here comes Catherine. Hey, Catherine. Look at our beautiful babies. They're all together. 
Good morning, beautiful people. It is early on Thursday morning. I'm about to feed the babies. I've had some questions about what formula that I use. And I'm currently using the Tropican formula made by Hagen. Uh, Zupreme no longer makes formula. And so, this is, well, I'll be honest with you. I wish I had been using this all along. It mixes up perfectly. The baby birds are growing perfectly. And it is a whole lot cheaper than any of the others. Um, lots of the, the, the nation's largest agriculturist use this. And so, I am very pleased with it. I'm going to leave links down in the description to it. Uh, another question was, how thick do I mix the formula? Well, i tell you what. I mix it fairly thick. I mix it just thin enough so that I can suck it up into the syringe. And you can see it holds together. It's not too watery. If you mix formula that is too thin and too watery, the solids will separate out of the formula following the baby bird's crop, and that will cause crop stasis, where the baby bird doesn't digest his food correctly, uh, completely. It'll digest the water, and the solids will stay in the very bottom portion of the crop. And that's when slow crop or sour crop or candida yeast infections will form. And so don't mix your formula too thinly. So let me get on with feeding these babies. Now look at this, guys. This is the little green cheek conure. And I don't know if you can tell. I can barely tell, of course. I have trouble telling colors, but he's getting green feathers on his chest right there where my dirty thumb is showing. But look at the pretty colors on his wing and his tail. Look at the tail. I say he, but it's a girl. That's my little squeaky cheeky baby, my green cheek con here. And snuggling up on my arm is, if I can get him, come on, everybody's favorite, Mr. Pogo, <laughs> he, he just can't stand being on the table, he wants to crawl up, up on me, but isn't he beautiful, look at that, look how sweet that is, that is adorable. I just love these two birds. I love green cheek conures and I love Indian ring nets. They are just amazing, amazing, wonderful birds. For totally different reasons. Here, Mr. Pogo. Come on up here. Come on, you want to step up? Step up. Nope, not going to do it yet. Come on, step up. Step up. Step up. There you go. Got to learn some manners. Let's say bye-bye. See you tomorrow.